A television pioneer has passed away. According to his assistant, he died last night of natural causes. He got his first start on Sid Caesar's Your Show of Shows. He also made some big screen appearances and had success as a director. Reiner had three children. His son Rob followed in his entertainment footsteps. Later on in life, he returned to acting, appearing as an elderly thief in the Oceans movies. And in 1995, he actually won an Emmy for his performance on Mad About You. Reiner had impeccable comic timing that reflected his philosophy about writing for comedy. He said, if you imagine yourself as somebody really normal and it makes you laugh, it's going to make everybody laugh. He was 98 years old. And in the spotlight this noon, singer Mary J. Blige has just launched a wine collection called Sun Goddess. It is a limited edition collection in collaboration with a winery from Italy. The singer says Sun Goddess. Sun Goddess was actually a nickname her sister gave her because she loves being outdoors and soaking up the sun. So far, the brand includes two wines, a rosé and Sauvignon Blanc. They cost about 20 bucks each. They'll be sold across the country in August. And the 4th of July is almost here, and SA Live has some fun things planned. Today, they're going to show you some family fun crafts for the holiday and share a list of some great ice cream shops around town. Mike? Remember, ice cream? Scream. We all scream for ice cream. Oh, yes. And if you're screaming for ice cream, we have put together a list of ice cream shops that, oh, you won't want to miss. Plus, we had, oh, doesn't that look good? Yep, yeah, we head to the final frontier, space the final frontier. These are the boys, sorry. Uh, we revisit a trip I took to the Scobie Education Center and check out the stars. And it's time. Oh, we all need this in the mornings to get your caffeine kick. Circle K is pouring us some iced coffee, and they've got some really, really yummy flavors. And we are getting very crafty for the 4th of July and some things that you can make at home with the kids, your own little straw rockets. Ready? It worked. And thank you very much. An applause from the peanut gallery over there. And we want to know what your favorite, speaking of ice cream, ice cream flavor is, chocolate or vanilla? What do you think over there? Lemon. Wow, that's those are the only <laughs> chocolate or <laughs> vanilla, <laughs> Ursula. Uh. And we are gonna have a poll and see which comes out ahead. And don't forget to stream us at ksat.com. That's all coming up in just a couple of minutes on SA Live. So stick around. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather, streaming free on KSAT TV. And one last look at the forecast. We're expecting uh, temperatures to be around 94 this afternoon. Look for some hazy conditions by Thursday and Friday and some hot stuff Friday and Saturday. We could be up near 100. We're also watching those heat indices a little bit later this afternoon. Those two could also be near 100 degrees. Guys. Thank you, Justin. And that's our show for now. Remember yesterday it was hamburgers or hot dogs. Today it's chocolate or vanilla. Why do we got to make all these decisions? I like both. I know. It's, but I got in trouble for saying lemon. So, so I, we love our ice cream, Mike, just all of it. Mike's making it tough on us. So let's see how tough it will be to choose between vanilla and chocolate. Is a live start right now. Because when the choices are chocolate and vanilla, you hey, we all scream for ice cream. We have a list of some ice cream shops to cool off this summer. I'm sure they have more flavors just for you, Ursula. Hey, we take a trip to the stars and get an update from the Scobie Education Center. Such a cool place. And we tell you the top trends coming this summer. That's all today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios, this is SA Live. Oh, it's always so, what a, ooh, ah, wow. That's what you always have to say when you look at fireworks like that. That's the uh, Macy's fireworks. And they have been going off. Oh, all that. I can just watch that all the time. That's so beautiful. Hello and happy Tuesday, everybody. Believe it or not, this is the last day of June. And of course, the fourth is right around the corner. 2020 is half over. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Osterhage. <laughs> and I'm Fiona Gorsiza hosting from home today. I cannot believe it's half over. I know. This made me pause and think about that. 
that we're finally halfway through 2020. <laughs> a lot of people are like, get rid of the second half. So. Right? Can we just skip? Let's just skip. Let's just skip to the next one. Okay, well, we all scream for ice cream, right? But what flavor do you scream for? Okay, so that's our question of the day. So, you know, there are a whole lot of options, but if you just really break it down to just chocolate or vanilla, which one of those classic flavors do you prefer? So let us know at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. Weigh in. What do you okay? say? Mike, what about you, chocolate or vanilla? Um, that's why they created double scoops, so you can have one of each. But I guess, I mean, I love chocolate, but I love dry roasted peanuts with chocolate sauce on vanilla. And you guys put more fruit on vanilla, something like that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with vanilla, but I love chocolate. I'd go with chocolate. If I had to pick, I'd go with chocolate. Okay. So, no. But again, double scoops. That's why they made that. So, hey, uh, you know, ice cream and summer and the 4th of July, and that means fireworks. But if you can't see fireworks this year, if you don't have time to go out and buy fireworks yourself, maybe you don't want to, you know, worse, because it can be kind of dangerous doing that. You don't want to hurt anybody. We, you, there are plenty of other fun ways to make the day feel very special, especially for the kids. Yes, our Jen Tobias Trusky gets crafty making DIY projects for Independence Day, including a different kind of firework for the kids. Celebrate the 4th of July with crafts that pop. Professional crafter Haley Giambalvo with designimprovise.com is sharing three easy ideas, all inexpensive and something fun for the kids to try at home. Some for kids and some for adults. So I'm gonna start with one of my ideas that I think actually works for either kids or adults. It's um, some fun DIY headbands that you can sport on the 4th. So this is one of my examples of my USA headband. I've also got a couple other versions here using um, chenille stems or pipe cleaners. These are little fireworks and um, some pretty patriotic stars. So these are super simple to make, just kind of improvise with what you have on hand. So you just need some chenille stems and a basic headband. So I have these plastic ones. If you have some plastic headbands on, uh, on hand already, that would work. And um, you just need to cut up the chenille stems. You need three of them in red, white, and blue, preferably about three inches long. And then I just twist them together in the middle like that to make kind of an X and then I'm going to add one more in the middle and twist it once and that makes a really simple firework there Look at that. And, then, no, that's yeah. and then to attach it to the headband you need a longer like a full size um, chenille stem that you just wrap around the center twist it together and then you can twist it onto your headband and if you need to you can kind of glue it in place so those are just super fun um, ways to get a little celebratory on the fourth, even if you're at home. And for the for the USA and the stars, you can use either some um, some sturdy cardstock if you have it. This is sturdy felt that I had on hand, but cardstock works, foam craft sheets, anything that will stand up nicely. And you can even use the chenille stems and bend those into letters and glue them to the top. So like if you wanted to make uh, an A or a you pretty much can bend them into just about any letter. So good for those photo shoots. I know a lot of people like to do the 4th of July, right? Photo shoots. Yeah, oh yeah, for right. sure. Put on all your patriotic gear, your red, white, and blue, and then put a headband on top and you're good to go. And then if you want to decorate your home a little bit for the 4th, I've got what I'm calling my fireworks bouquet here. So I like to put this on my dining table um, the week of the 4th of July. And I just made these fireworks, take one out, out of red, white, and blue paper. So this is what it looks like, which I've glued to a wood dowel. If you don't have dowels, you can use like a wooden skewer for the grill or even like a paper straw you can glue them to. You just need a little bit of a stick to glue them to. You take an eight by 10 piece of paper. I use just colored paper and white paper and you have to cut them into like half inch wide strips. Okay. So it requires a little bit of measuring and trimming. Um, but you wanna leave about an inch or two on top. You don't want to cut it all the way through because that's what you're going to roll up. So you do two of those. I'm going to do a white one and a blue one here to make my fireworks. I, I combine two colors in each. And then just adhere them together. I'm use a little hot glue to make it quick. And you roll them up. And then it automatically just kind of flares out into that kind of fireworks that you think of in 
uh, and fireworks shows. And for the little ones too, maybe you don't want them to play with the sparklers. They could just wave those around even. Oh, sure. Right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's a great idea. And I've got one more that I know the kids will love. These are um, a fun alternative to fireworks. Uh, they are pom-pom shooters. So made out of toilet paper or paper towel rolls that you cut down. So I'll show you how they work. It has a balloon attached to the bottom. Let's see if I can get it pom-poms in there. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <There's more. laughs> I love it. So that's these. And if you have some um, patriotic stickers or tape, that's you can decorate them with. But pretty much the idea is you take a regular sized latex balloon and you're gonna cut just the top part off. And then you're gonna stretch it around the base of the toilet paper roll and tie a knot. Then you can decorate it however you want. You can fill it with pom-poms. I like those because they're a little easier to clean up. You could always put confetti in too, as long as you're ready to, <laughs> to pick up a lot of mess on the floor, but, um, and that's it. Then you just pull down on the, on the balloon and it pops them out. <laughs> I love that. Feeling inspired? Haley has a website full of ideas. She also has a new ebook out on wreath making. Yes, all under $25. And in the ebook, I have them organized by season. So you can pick which one you want to make for each of the four seasons. Designimprovise.com for all these ideas plus many more. Thank you so much, Haley. Thank you. Oh, Haley always has the greatest crafts to do, so simple, and we are gonna get crafty right now by making our straw rockets. You got all the stuff there, Fiona? I sure do. I've got my scotch tape, I've got crayons, I've got colored pencils, I've got scissors, I've got straw, and little pieces of paper already cut up. Yeah. Into and I just took a piece of a regular eight and a half by 11 paper, uh, drew some stars on here, or you can make uh, you know any sort of patriotic design that you want to. And I'm gonna just roll this up into a nice little tube right here, just a little bit bigger. It doesn't have to fit the straw you know, perfectly. Right. And just take a, yeah. Right. And pop that on there and tape it together. Tape's probably simpler than glue, right? Oh, well, it's faster too. <laughs> yeah, a lot faster too. Exactly. The kids don't have um, the patience. They want. They don't want to wait. They want to do it right now. <laughs> right, and then fold the end over. Tape okay. that. And do we fire away? Yeah. There we go. Just like that. And if you want to get really fancy, you go. Oh, you're going. Okay. Three. Oh, very good. Here, let me try the mine. <laughs> Here we go. Eh. But I got really fancy. I don't know if you have a monitor right there or not, but I took some little shiny paper and it looks like the little streamers com coming off the end of it. You know, I take scissors. Okay. I, said, I said to myself, Mike Osterhage is going to go all out for this little craft. Well, and I always I, wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid. Exactly, and yes, you, you got all fancy. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Right, three, two. Haha, <laughs> it worked perfectly. That's a great, I, I love these, these little crafts. And perfect, like uh, Haley was talking about, for the kids. Yes, and of course, for more information on these fun 4th of July crafts, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live Cap. Indeed. Of course, I always wanted to be an astronaut. You know, I took a trip to the uh, Scobie Education Center last year, and they've got a lot going on there. Stay live, we have a problem. Well, what could be more relaxing than sitting under the stars, watching them go by, and having it in a nice reclining chair? That's what the planetarium is for, right here, and Michelle Rissi is in charge. So, this is a romantic spot, right? Yes, a lot of sir. folks have gotten engaged here. Several. In fact, uh, one of the fun stories we often had, we can put the planetarium to the point of when you, the two couples met and show you the sky of when it was important to you. And one guy did that and he proposed to his sweetheart right here in the planetarium. Under the same sky from when they met. Yes, sir. Really? Okay, that's that's extremely romantic. <laughs> well, for our typical Friday night shows, we have uh, three shows, 6.30, 7.30, and 9 o'clock. Our mm. 6.30 show is 
an animated kid shows for all families. Um, our 7.30 shows, The Sky Tonight, where I display the constellations and planets and things that are available in the nighttime sky, so you and your sweetheart could go out and see what's up in the sky. And our 9 o'clock is one of our adult features. And the nice thing about this is you don't have to worry about city lights. You don't have to drive out to the hill country to see all the stars. So, and you can basically control space from here. Yes. I, as I like to call it, this is my universe. <laughs> may I control the universe? Yes, you may. <laughs> Ooh, the power behind this. <laughs> so this is your panel, and this is how you can call up uh, any date, any time, any place, yes, right? Yes, sir. Can I call up and take a picture of a sky on a specific date and time and place? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this, you said that a lot of people will recreate the first time they met. Yes, sir. So here's the sky in Memphis, Tennessee, with the atmosphere turned off because it was in the middle of the day mm -hmm. back in 1994, mm -hmm. in November, November 13th, 1994, when I met my wife. Aww. Aww. All right, so this is Mission Control, and this is where we take a little ride to Mars, right, yep. Jennifer? Yep, Expedition Mars. We head over to Mars, and the kids start, some kids start here in Mission Control, some start in the, in the um, Mars transport vehicle as we're going to Phobos. And I would assume because you're using all of the basic, you know, reading, writing, arithmetic right. for all of this, yes. but it's a lot more fun doing it this way. Yeah, it sure is. So they, so don't, they don't realize they're learning. They don't when realize they do they're learning. So we pretty much follow the Texas TEKS. Um, we look at um, those standards and what teachers are needing to teach in the classroom, and we adapt those and bring those into our lessons here. Challenger centers have been around since um, the Challenger accident, of course, when the families decided they wanted to come together and do something more for education since it was an education mission. So that's, oh wow, Mars Mission Control. So this would be a futuristic Michigan control that's being built yes. on the planet. I'm ready for assembly here. Wavelength number two is 110 nautical miles. Secondary antenna is F-14, one of my favorite airplanes, okay. uh, and bandwidth 17. <laughs> that's cool. Hi, my name is Rick Varner. I'm the center director for the Scobie Education Center, which is located at San Antonio College campus. And while our center is closed during the precautionary time to reduce the, the spread of the COVID-19 virus, uh, we are working virtually and we're working online uh, with a number of different products and activities for our, our community. Uh, one thing that you may find is that if you follow us on Facebook or you're a friend in our social media areas, uh, you may see that since March, um, Michelle Rissi, our astronomer, has been producing video versions of our Sky Tonight activity, which is a staple of our regular Friday night programming. Uh, we'll continue to produce those videos right on through the fall until we're able to come back together on Friday nights. Our Challenger Learning Center staff, under the guidance of Heather Akion, is producing digital badges and their activities on the futurereadysa.org website. To do these activities, you actually would have a student go in and create a profile on that website, and they pop up with a search. So if you did a search for STEM or space, the scoping mission ready uh, activities would come up. Um, coming up in astronomy, uh, June 30th is Asteroid Day, and that date marks the largest Earth impact that we have recorded um, in, in more modern history, and that happened back in Siberia in 1908. And uh, I understand no dinosaurs are celebrating that event, um, but it, it is recognized around the world now. Um, and as a, as a center staff, the SCOBY Education Center is eagerly looking forward to the opportunity that we can get together again with our teachers and students. Uh, of course, visually or face to face. And, uh, and we thank SA Live for that opportunity to, to get the word out and to check on us how we're doing in these very unusual times. Very cool over there, gotta check it out. All right, still ahead on SA Live, stay energized and cool this summer with iced coffee from Circle K. And keep the kids busy and safe this summer. The latest technology trends parents will want to know about. That's next on SA Live.
Welcome back everyone. Well, for some parents, keeping up with the latest technology can be tough and keeping kids busy while at home can be even tougher. <laughs> right? But we've got some ways to help keep you sane while keeping your kids safe and educated this summer. So I am so grateful to HP. They've created a platform. It's called uh, HP's Print, Play, and Learn. It's totally free, and I love a free thing because there's not many of them in the world. Um, and it's amazing because you go to the website and you can download hundreds of activities to do with the kids. So um, there are experiments that you can do. Um, there are crafts. There's coloring pages. There's all sorts of worksheets. Um, and I just, I just love the the fact that it's kind of an offline um, activity since we are spending so much time on devices and on screens. So I just print them up. I've got an HP Envy. I print them up and then we take them outside and we do our crafts out there. Um, my son and I made one of the little rockets uh, from one of the activity sheets uh, right here. And it's just a fun way to uh, to spend time with the kids and just keep them active. I am really hoping that school is, uh, is up and running in the fall. But um, one of the, <laughs> it, I think I'll pull all every single hair on my head out if it's not, but, um, <laughs> but no, it's, uh, you know, a big issue for schools is how do you uh, manage busing, um, you know, in the era of COVID-19, you know, being that kids are in an enclosed environment, you know, sometimes for a couple of hours a day. Uh, so there is a new technology, it's called Bus Guardian. Um, and it's phenomenal because basically schools and school districts opt in to use this program. And what the program does is it allows schools to see if there are any ill children on on the bus. It also uh, man manages and, and updates what the cleaning schedule is of the buses so schools can know exactly when the bus was cleaned, when it was sanitized. Um, it, it's it's available in about 100,000 buses around the country right now. But if, if for whatever reason your school district doesn't use it, I highly recommend calling your school district or calling your principal and just letting them know like, hey, this technology exists. It could make getting back to school a little bit easier and a little bit safer. Um, um, because I do think schools are looking for how to solve this busing issue that they have. So I'm very excited about it. It's going to give me a lot of peace of mind this fall. So we're all using our devices, like we said, so much more. Um, and it turns out that there is actually an uptick in cyber crimes um, as a result of, you know, people just having more time on their hands. So it's really important now more than ever to keep our devices safe. I love Kaspersky Total Security. It's a phenomenal software. You buy one license and you can can protect up to 10 devices. So that's your Mac computer, your PCs, your Android devices, all with just one license. Um, and that's gonna protect you from cyber crimes. Um, it's gonna protect you from malware. Um, it'll pr protect you when you're processing payments, you're buying or selling things online. It also has a password organizing. Um, so you it'll keep track of all your passwords and keep it all organized for you, which for me is just like a total mess. Um, and it has parental controls, which I think is great if you're sharing sharing your computer with uh, with a child, you can kind of restrict what they see and what they don't see. So I'm a big fan of that. So for more info about all of these um, products, you can go to inthenews.tv. Thank you. Be safe. Still ahead at yeah, the South Texas sun is a little too much for you. Time to cool off with some ice cream. We've got a list of some yummy ice cream spots around town. And next on I Say Live, score an energetic pick me up. How you can get a free cup of coffee from Circle K. Welcome back, everyone. Well, my alarm went off at 2 o'clock this morning, my last show of the day. So, you know, at this time, I'm starting to wind down a little bit. But thankfully, Circle K was nice enough to drop off a little pick-me-up, some iced coffee. It, oh, my gosh. I am so jealous. I could use one of those right now. You know, you can have it delivered to your house. Yes. Really? Yeah, we'll get that all taken care of. And they have all kinds of flavors to check out. They have House Blend, Colombian, and what I've heard is your favorite, Texas Pecan. They also have different creamer flavors to choose from. They have vanilla, sweet cream, hazelnut, and caramel macchiato. And is that what you have in front of you? Do you have the vanilla and hazelnut? I have the vanilla and the hazelnut. You try so that combo, mix it together. Combo? Okay. I'm living right. vicariously through you right now. This is so exciting. I'm on the edge of my feet. Can you see me on the edge of my feet? Well, mm. Mm. 
Oh, that's good. By the way, the delivery is through uh, Favor, one of those delivery services there. Now, uh, you can do, uh, you know, I do the weather for GMSA, and they have a new secret word with a chance to win free gas. Did you know that, Fiona? They have added a new bonus time for the starting time. Starting tomorrow, if you get the secret word right, you win a free iced coffee from Circle K. Now, the secret word is in the 6 a.m. hour of Good Morning San Antonio, so don't miss it. I will be here bright and early, 6 a.m. hour of GMSA. So Monday through Friday, just watch the 6 a.m. hour of GMSA, and you'll see the secret word. Then you submit it on ksat.com slash Circle K for a chance to win free gas for a year and you do win that ice coffee from Circle K. Now that sounds like a sweet deal. Oh yes it is, and Circle K coffee is ground fresh for every cup, so you know you're always getting it fresh. Stay cool, Circle K way with an iced coffee, or if you're not a coffee drinker, an iced cold Polar Pop or frozen Froster. Enter the Circle K secret word of the day contest for a chance to win free gas for a year, and starting tomorrow for a limited time, when you submit the correct secret word, you win a free iced coffee from Circle K. Just watch GMSA at 6 a.m. every day here on KSAT 12 for the secret word. For all contest details, just go to ksat.com slash Circle K. All right, still ahead, get the healthy skin you deserve this summer. Pour Moi shares the secrets to keeping skin hydrated. And next, get your spoon ready. We serve up some delicious new and classic San Antonio ice cream flavors. Oh, that looks good. Well, of course, summer is here. The 4th of July is this weekend. Getting hot outside. Officially the best time of the year to enjoy mm, ice cream. Okay, hold on, hold on. You got coffee and now you have ice cream? <laughs> oh, this is so delicious. You, did, oh, you didn't get any, Fiona? Oh, that, that's really too bad. Hey, this is from Rolling Ray's Ice Cream, one of five ice cream spots we take you to to take a look at this list and see which one is near you. Summer is here and things are heating up in South Texas. But if you're wanting to cool off, there is no shortage of great ice cream shops in San Antonio. SA Live put together a list of some local favorite ice cream shops and some shops you may not have heard of. First up, handmade rolled ice cream with a Texas twist. And to leave you wanting more, Rolling Rays opened in 2018. They offer special flavors in their Thai style rolled ice cream. Make sure you check their flavor of the month, like the Lucky Roll, made with Rice Krispie Treat ice cream, whipped topping, a sour rainbow belt, chocolate gold coins, and green sprinkles. Oh my goodness. They are located off Babcock Road and currently offer curbside pickup and check online for updates on dining in. If you're looking for something a little healthier, Luna's Nutrition shakes things up with healthy smoothies, energy drinks, and meal replacement protein shakes. Don't worry, you can still get things for your sweet tooth, like the Kit Kat shake or the peanut butter cup. They are open and located off Days of Alla Road. If you want crazy ice cream creations, head to Leon Valley. 210 Ice Cream has a large variety of crazy concoctions, San Antonio style, like the Oreo funnel cake and ice cream, raspas with ice cream, mangonadas, picadillis, and much more. Even if you haven't lived in San Antonio very long, you probably heard of the San Antonio original, El Paraíso, a long-standing parlor producing ice cream and paletas made from natural ingredients. And if you don't know what it is, basically a frozen fruit bar. El Paraíso original ice cream was established in 1984, and they still continue making their traditional recipes today. You can't beat their classic price. You can find them off Fredericksburg Road. For an endless selection of flavors, check out Arctic Ape Wild Desserts. This one's located in Windcrest off Walsham Road. They have soft serve ice cream, frozen yogurt, gelato, Italian ice, custard sorbet, <laughs> 150 toppings too. They have a family friendly atmosphere with games and music. Be sure to check their website for their curbside options and to see if their dining area will be open. For more information on these cool shops, head to salive.com and click the As Seen on SA Live tab. 
all looks good. Hey, are you worried about going to see the doctor? WellMed brings the doctor to you through virtual visits. And start your new skin care regimen today. The healthy skin you deserve. We're all struggling with beauty and skincare regimes right now, but if you want phenomenal anti-aging results, we know where you can turn from the comfort of your own home. Uli Haslacker, founder and CEO of Pour Moi Skincare, joins me today with formulations specifically created for the climate of your skin. Hey there, Uli. Hello, Fiona. How are you? Hey, we're doing well. Okay, with your products, we should forget about everything we know about anti-aging skincare, really? Yes, really. And here's the proof. Look at my hands. On this hand, I use Climate Smart Skincare. And on this hand, I used a regular moisturizer. And oh look at the difference. God. Those are incredible results. I know. I got rid of all the brown spots. I got rid of all the dry skin, of the fine lines, of the dull skin. It completely transformed my skin. Tell me a little bit about Climate Smart. What we found is if you formulate and customize for the climate you are in, you get this extraordinary results. And it's not just me saying this, this is backed up by the latest medical clinical studies that show that skin significantly changes according to the climate you are in. So what is the secret sauce? There is a secret sauce, not one for everybody, but a secret sauce for every climate you are in. So in San Antonio, it is really a specific formula that handles this heavy uh, tropical, subtropical air you have in San Antonio. As well, it really uh, approaches the repair from the long sunlight you have. So it's a very high performing, uh, customized formula that works tremendously well with high humidity. Now you're proud of your U.S. patent and proud of an independent lab study you just did that was off the charts. Tell us about these results. Yes, here we go. This is my U.S. patent and I'm so proud of it because there's hardly any patents in skincare. Why? Because you actually have to prove that it works better than anything that was there before. And of course, you have to prove that it is unique and never been done before. So it took seven years of clinical studies and going through the process with the patent. And then when we got it last year, end of last year, we then paired it up with a, um, you know, consumer study company. And uh, so they had consumer uh, independently see the results and boy, did we score an A plus. We got a hundred percent almost on everything because you really do get these results. This is not an empty promise. If you struggle with humidity with your skin, if you don't see that extraordinary anti-aging results that you always wanted, try Climate Smart Skin Care. It works. Now you have an offer for anyone watching today. What's in the kit and how do we use it? This is our San Antonio SA Town Subtropical Kit. These five products are specific for the high humidity in um, San Antonio. When it's very tropical, you use the tropical day cream. And when it's less humid and a little bit cooler, you switch over, you rotate, rotate in the tempered day cream. I want to point out we are vegan brand and we are all made in France, all clean ingredients. If you want to score the SA Town Subtropical Rescue Kit for just 88 bucks, just visit formwaskincare.com slash San Antonio or call 909-243-1456. The kit is normally $176, so you're saving a bundle. Willie, thank you again. Up next on the show, take the hassle out of going to see the doctor. WellMed gives you the option to see your doctor virtually. Well, did you know nearly half of Americans delayed medical care because of the pandemic? With things the way they are right now and with no one wanting to venture too far from their homes, people are turning to telemedicine in record numbers. Joining us today, Dr. Charles Van Dyne with MelMed um, with what you need to know about telehealth. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jen. So first things first, what can patients expect to see during this televisit in the portal that you'll be in? So it's gonna look very much like what we're looking at now. The, the big picture is gonna be the person on the other side and the small picture is the image that you're sending to them. 
So it's very much like that. And all of this from the convenience and safety of your home, a nice face-to-face -face visit with your provider. The additional thing is that our platform, of course, is a secure platform, which is important since you're talking about protected health information that we want to make sure there's privacy involved. So it's very much like what we're doing exactly now. And what tips do you have for people who may not be so comfortable with technology when they're doing this? What I would suggest is that as long as they have the device that they need, a smartphone or a tablet or whatever, is find somebody who is more tech savvy. And in my case, my go-to is my grandson because the young kids always have a better phone and know all the buttons on it. And practice doing those video chats with FaceTime or Skype or Zoom or whatever so you get used to the camera settings and how the thing, how the thing works. When you actually have a visit, it's an app on the phone that you click on the app, which we all know most people can do that. You log in with a username and password. The reason for that is for privacy again. You go into the visit, the doctor joins the visit, they ask you questions, they look at you, they can send medicine to your pharmacy, they can send you to the lab for blood work, they can send you to x-ray and give you a note for work and arrange your follow-up and do all of that without you even having to get off your couch which that is, is really cool that is cool especially right now everybody's a little on edge and thinking about going to a doctor right now maybe they don't feel so comfortable with that so what are the right. appropriate services and symptoms for somebody that may be considering one of these appointments so there's kind of yes we have kind of two two big groups so the acute non-urgent care and those are the things that you would like to get taken care of but you don't want to go out so sore throat cold and sinus problems skin rashes, um, you know, uh, that type of thing. The other place that's very useful is, as we know, and I think you mentioned that pa uh, patients have been delaying care because of COVID. So the patients with high blood pressure, diabetes, some other chronic conditions still need to get seen and evaluated. So with the telemedicine visit, you can show the doctor your blood pressures on your machine at home, because most people that have high blood pressure will have a blood pressure machine, or many do. And we all know how much fun it is to have your blood pressure taken in the doctor's office when it's not the best condition. So it's probably even more accurate. The same with the diabetes follow-up. I think another place is um, behavioral mental health access, because as we know, the stress of COVID, both the economic and physical and emotional stress of all that's been going on that people are under with everything going on, there's going to be obviously a big need for mental health, professional work. Um, and so this is a great way to do that. And you don't have to like drive, wait, go through it and all those things. So it's just, it, it, it's like Amazon. Bring it, we bring the care to the patient. The patient doesn't have to come to us for the care. Um, and so it's, it, it, to me, it's a, a great um, opportunity. Oh, yes, I definitely agree. I know a lot of people that are a little uncomfortable maybe venturing out right now. So where can they go? Anyone watching right now that's interested in setting up one of these visits, where can they go for more information? So wellmedhealthcare.com slash my health team. Uh, if you're not a WellMed patient, you're welcome to become one. Um, but there, a lot of the, most of the medical community has adopted telemedicine in order to keep taking care of their patients. So they should call their healthcare provider's office and find out what telemedicine options they may be offering. And they're all very much the same. Okay, well, good to know. And I'm glad that we are able to adjust during these challenging times. Dr. Van Dyne, thank you so much. Again, for more information, visit wellmedhealthcare.com slash myhealthteam. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jen. Tomorrow on SA Live, a cake so amazing, you'll stand up and salute. Get a lesson in making this star-spangled edible work of art. Plus, most of your 4th of July decorations might already be in your home right now. We've got a red, white, and blue DIY fun for the whole family tomorrow at 1 p.m. on SA Live. Welcome back, everyone. Well, of course, earlier we asked you, it's the great debate. Is it chocolate or vanilla? I think Fiona's probably out getting ice cream right now somewhere. Um, we want to know, what do, you, what do you think? And Fiona had said chocolate ice cream, right? Okay, you want to know what the oh, Twitter sphere weighed in got on? got numbers, okay. I have numbers, okay. Twitter weighed in, chocolate, 67% of the vote. Vanilla, 33%. I'm kind of surprised it's not closer than that. Like yesterday's uh, hamburger and hot dog was what, 55, 45, something like that. Interesting. Did you vote? Did you go on the Twitter?
years. Did I vote? No, I didn't. Sorry. I get, to, I get to make my vote on, on the air like this. So, hey, you know what's really good with ice cream? is cake and tomorrow we have a cake so amazing it is so patriotic you are going to salute it and we have a lesson in making that edible wonder all right and of course most of your fourth of july decorations might already be in your home we've got more red white blue diy fun for the whole family tomorrow as well i for some reason have a hankering for ice cream right now if you got you double are, scoop would you be on top